Hello Virgo, I am Eva at Mungadars Oracle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this reading is about new love. It's a brand new reading. It is not about people coming back from the past. It is about asking whether there is new love on the horizon for you. And I already started this reading and what happened was I pulled the card to see um, for your Celtic cross in a very unconventional way um, using these oracle cards what is your current energy um, and I am channeling these cards are the extension of my intuition and I got the dragonfly and when I tried to pull out the koi carp uh, the, my light just went off it went into complete darkness so this is very interesting and I didn't want to start it again because I feel this has a meaning so this uh, dragon, the lighting might not be perfect right now because uh, I just had to quickly seize the moment. Um, I think this might be better. And um, so I will work out the lighting later on. You are a light worker and you are also following the light. Um, as the dragonfly. Dragonflies could mean a lot to you. And this meditation, this koi carp, um, and complete darkness showing up, I feel this is somehow related to the solar eclipse which we just had on the 8th of April. Um, something that you could only know if you are connected within something because the moon was covering the sun. Something that you know deep inside from your higher self, from your soul, that is very important right now in your life. What is it? Let's clarify it straight away. What is it? The devil. Wow. Okay. What is that about? Ace of Swords. What clarity are you getting? King of Wands. Wow, okay. And the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So, what I feel, Virgo, is um, this, this complete darkness happening is... Um, you are being scared of taking steps towards your happiness, right? Um, it also could mean that you are already feeling someone is coming towards you energetically. You may be dreaming about someone. I mean, like... Uh, not daydreaming, just in your dreams, someone could appear who you don't know yet. Okay, let's see what is your obstacle. The wealth, the dragon. The dragon is a very spiritual energy and it's also fiery. Uh, let's see, is there anything here which we need to know? Uh, they, they can work with you. They would like to guide you on your path. So if you feel the connection with the dragons, then definitely start working with them. If not, it is about... Um, wealth is very much related to self-worth. So maybe you feel you are not worthy of a full-on, happy, beautiful love connection. Uh, that could be holding you back right now. Your subconscious is guiding you towards nourishment. This is self-love, compassion, uh, being less harsh on yourself, accepting yourself more. And the recent past is the peacock, inner truth. So you are really connecting within and finding out more and more about yourself. In the present, we've got the deer, sensitivity. So um, you could be a sensitive, intuitive. You could be someone who is very sensitive to energy, other people's energy. You could be, as I said, sensing in your dreams this new person coming your way. Um, it is very beautiful. You may feel like it's spooky, but this is something that you can improve on if you would like to. 
your near future is the unicorn individuality. So after soul searching, accepting that you are sensitive, you can open up to your magic, to your own beautiful gifts, which is beyond the physical. So this is about development, spiritual development. Um, so in regards to whether new love is on the horizon, uh, let's see some clarifiers and then we can uh, continue. I just put these cards out before I will forget. And uh, let's see the bottom of the deck is inside. So right now, maybe through this reading, you are gaining insight into how you are uh, being your worst enemy and uh, being in the way of where you exactly want to go. Uh, sometimes we need to step out our, of our own way to achieve what we want, to receive what we want. Uh, so this um, insight today may give you a lot on this journey. So let's see about this unicorn, this near future. Wow, you've got more than one people coming in and you might need to be... Um, making a decision about two people. There is the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers. So you are looking for someone trustworthy, someone reliable, someone for the long term, but you also have someone coming in who is very passionate, very playful, and it could be very difficult to decide which one to go for because you would be like, can I just have someone who has both sides? Uh, but definitely looking like new love is on its way. And interestingly, the King of Wands showed up earlier. Either of these people... Uh, could be coming in before you meet the king of wands. So you may be on a dating app. You may be meeting up with people through friends. But definitely there is a lot of movement here. The king of wands who is coming but not here yet. And these people are in your immediate future. So you may already have met them or will meet them imminently. But there is some healing needing to take place within you. Um, okay, so what Spirit is giving to me is we all have certain strategies to receive love and live our lives. And maybe that pattern attracted certain type of energies towards us. And it's like if you look back to, on your relationships, you would be able to spot the same things like the fear of abandonment, the fear of rejection or whatever that was the issue that made things go down a certain way. And then you suddenly have someone available who is different. The pattern is not being continued and that person could be much better for you. However, because the, the one which didn't work out for you feels more comforting because that's in your comfort zone, sometimes we run away from what could be good for us. So uh, I don't know why you needed to hear this, but Spirit is saying... Um, Maybe these younger energies or less immature energies, playful energies are coming in to show you what you truly want. Like, can I have everything in one in one person? And maybe that King of Wands will be your wish fulfillment. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't have fun. You shouldn't uh, enjoy your life to the degree you want to. So maybe you go out for coffee dates or clubbing or God knows what you are doing, however far you are going down on the dating line, um, it's entirely up to you. You do what really you want to do and uh, there is no one judging you, okay? But new love is in, more than one. The one who you are dreaming about is not here just yet. But this is almost like part of the process to meet other people so you can understand yourself better 
what would I like in a person? And this will help you, this uh, process, to get that. Your strength is showing up as the lion, the courage. And uh, the way your energies are affected by others is the rooster uniqueness. Two ways now. The unicorn is individuality. The rooster is uniqueness. The unicorn is your inner gifts, your magic. The rooster is your confidence growing. Very beautiful. Your fears and desires. So that also could be why spirit is saying, go for it. Go dating. Go meet other people. It will build your confidence. And uh, your self-worth will rise from this your fears and desires is the snow leopard the instinct so maybe you felt before like oh this is the one and then it gone wrong and now you are not trusting your intuition anymore do trust it because there is always a reason why our intuition is guiding us down on a path there is something to le learn there there is like breadcrumbs and you need to experience something in order to get what you truly want and the outcome is the rabbit encouragement so it's like a rabbit in the spotlight um, i feel this is about uh, going putting yourself out there and uh, and meeting other people now before i clarify that outcome i want to look into this dragon because that self-worth is your obstacle so we've got the king of pentacles clarifying that and the strength card at the bottom so Virgo I feel that um, you you are a strong woman and uh, you achieved a lot already in your life maybe you created financial abundance for yourself maybe you would like to expand on that there is nothing wrong with that but what spirit is saying do not make the mistake of basing your self-worth on how much money you can create that's something that could be your fear like you may not earn as much as others and therefore you don't worth as much as others take that out of your head that's what spirit is saying Okay, let's go into this encouragement. This, oh, wow, look at that. Ace of Wands and the Magician. You are manifesting new love. But you are also scared. Nine of Swords. And um, this is um, the rabbit in the spotlight. Like um, headlights, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's almost like you are getting what you wished for attention, passion, um, I don't know, lots of things that, that you wanted. And now you are like, oh my God, I don't know what to do with this. Do not also make the mistake like uh, you can only go out with one person who is going to be your husband or wife. No. You, it's, <laughs> it's like... I don't know whether you've seen the, the film, The Ugly Truth. Uh, the main character there goes out on a date with a fully background check on the person she is dating. And she literally has um, a printout on how the date should be going. Don't be like that, Virgo, please. Allow yourself to enjoy every moment. Enjoy the spotlight enjoy um, your uniqueness find out what people find adorable about you why they like you because you have low self-worth self-esteem 14 14 on the counter there is big changes on the way and you need to see yourself through other people's eyes that's what spirit is saying they are coming they might be already here Passion is definitely there. You are manifesting people in your life. Yes, you are scared that you are going to get someone who has lots of troubles, who is lying to you, and you really, really want to get your wish um, delivered, your wish fulfillment. You will, 
Just don't be impatient. This is not like you are opening up a catalog and I would like to order this person. And you know the exact uh, rundown on their personality, their past lives, their, their everything, what uh, size socks they are wearing. I'm joking here, but don't be like that. Allow the universe to surprise you and yes maybe some people will tell you what you, they think you want to hear now 15 15 on the counter 6 6 connect with your heart and uh, go through the change through connecting with your intuition so um, the change in a sense of uh, finding attracting this new love so virgo this is fantastic this is exactly what you need this is exactly what will take you to the person that you already feel you can be with and it's not like you may see them with their physical features you may simply have this feeling that i'm going to find a person who is right for me i deserve that and that's what you really need to focus on i'm going to stop it here um so um you could be dealing with um a gemini We've got Capricorn, another Virgo you could be dealing with, an Aquarius, yeah, and Leo. These, these are the main ones, but you could be dealing with uh, someone else. So dare to put yourself out there, Virgo. And uh, thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Can't wait to connect with you later. And I'm going to continue this on Patreon to find out a little bit more about these people and um, what is going on. Take care. Bye for now.